Welcome back, this is Yamba Jack, and today we are back with Gunslinger Containment Station Suicidal. We are here again with this OSHA non-compliant workspace. First We're going to be resolving way. the primary Don't issues, being uh, Z infestation. Uh, we get rid of the Z infestation so that the professionals can come in and handle the um, more delicate OSHA compliancy yeah, issues such as the electricity sparking and arcing everywhere and the uh, low knee height railings. Plus there's this weird steam coming out of the vent in, uh, in some locations. These monitors don't even work. I'm not sure if any of the speakers in this system work for warning about uh, you know Zed invasions or anything of the nature. You know, are there even any fire alarms in here? I don't see any fire alarms. Do you see any fire alarms? Any, uh... See any... Well, there's, a, there's a fire hydrant. There's a fire hydrant. Is this uh, is this up to spec? Is this fire hydrant here up to spec? It's hard to check if the fire hydrant is up to spec while you're under siege by... Creatures of... Well... The dead. The clones and the... Uh, torturous souls. Is this uh, up to spec? Let's see. Can't see the expiration date on this. I don't see the... Alright, there's uh, there's instructions clearly visible on the fire extinguisher, which are good. But we need to... Where's the log here? Where's the log? I think that's... Uh... Can't quite read it. But I'm assuming that's not up to up to spec. I bet they haven't. Uh, they haven't fixed. Uh, they haven't. They haven't had the the fire extinguisher checkup in too long. Too long. You have a fire extinguisher in here. Where's your fire extinguisher in here? Okay, you got a fire extinguisher right there. We can get a little bit closer to this one too. Yeah, it doesn't look very readable to me. Doesn't look very readable to me. One fire extinguisher for a room this large? You insane? See all the electricity arcing around here? Okay, there's another fire extinguisher right there. I can accept that. I can accept that. I can accept that. Yeah. You got a lounge. You got a lounge. Next to the, the first aid station, which is fantastic, of course. But you know what the the lounge is missing? You know what the lounge is missing? Functional lights. This is going to give people all sorts of headaches and problems. Can't be having that. There's a fire extinguisher readily available right here, of course, for anybody who might be experiencing fire, but these screens are still just... Can't be having screens like that everywhere. It's going to cause problems for people's eyes and their brains. You know, you might have some people with some sensory overload issues. You got to be wary of that, of course. You need to be accommodating of everybody. Make sure that everybody has a comfortable workspace to work on whatever it is that they're working on. Which, I mean, I'm not sure what you're working on here exactly, but... I'm not sure it's OSHA compliant. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Enough of the role play. Enough of the role play. Or is it enough of the role play? We'll never know. No, it is. It is. It is. It is, it is enough of the role play. I think. I think I've made my point that this place is non-compliant and needs immediate attention by professionals. Of which I am not. Hey, that's not cool, bro. That's not cool. I made my point clear. You know, you know, I've been writing lately. I've been doing some writing. I've been doing some writing. There is no fire extinguisher in here, right? There's no fire extinguisher even nearby here, really. The closest one is down there, I think, right? Because I don't think there's one in this room. Yeah, there's no fire extinguisher in here. Okay. 
There's a fire extinguisher right there. That's a little bit far away from uh, from the lounge area. You know, for me personally, if I'm going to be having a lounge, people might be smoking in here. People might be, you know, you can have your restrictions all you want, but people are probably going to do the stuff that they, uh, that they shouldn't be doing just because they want to. They think they can get away with it. You got some machines in here. You know, these are probably a fire hazard. You'd want to have a, a nice little... It's just it's just a perfect spot for it right here. Just a little fire extinguisher right there, you know? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's just a little fire extinguisher. It really would really help with that room's safety. But I don't think these people had... I don't think these people had uh, safety in mind when they when they put together this facility. Time's up. Storing clones that are willing to or are capable of taking over and destroying the world is probably also not OSHA compliant. But I don't think our our sheet really has anything specifically against that. It's probably more of a just general don't do that because it's a legal thing more more than an OSHA compliancy issue. Anyway, anyway, yeah, I've been writing, right? I've been writing. I've been doing my my writing stuff. They do have lots of fire extinguishers in here, though. That's good. That's good. And uh, I uploaded it to Royal Road, and it has been approved. So if you are interested in reading the tale of Shara's many faces, you are free to do so. It is on Royal Road currently right now. There will be a link in the description. Please do go check it out and read it and tell me what you think. I think I'm an okay writer. I'm not I'm not the greatest writer in the world. I'm not the worst writer in the world. I'm okay. And uh I'd I'd love if you guys went and read. And if you don't want to, it's okay. I'm not I'm not going to uh I'm not gonna be mad at you for that, but I would I would I would appreciate it if you did anyway. I write it to be read, you know? That's that's, that's why I write it. I do have a couple of readers, mostly uh, friends of mine who are interested in keeping up with the story. But I would, I would like to, to have more than just friends reading the story. I'd like to have more than just my friends witnessing Shara's legacy as she travels through the lands of you're not going to know the name until it shows up in the story, which it hasn't yet. Not because I don't know what it is, because you don't know what it is. I'd like to have more people reading it, but it's on Royal Road. I just got the message that it has been approved, so it is officially visible on Royal Road now. I want to get some fan art made for it. I want to get some like a cover art made for it. I want to get a uh, better synopsis written for it, but I don't really know what I'm like. I have one chapter written at this moment, one and a half maybe. I don't really have the ability to write like a synopsis about what the story is because it's like I don't know. You know, you know as well as I do what it is. Just go read the dang first chapter. It's that's the synopsis right there. It's like 870 words. It's not really a. It does. It, it's like a couple minutes. It's not. It's not a big investment. You know. I'll tell you about as much as I know about it. A little bit. A little bit less than I know. But I don't really. The thing is, the thing with writing a synopsis is, as a writer, as a reader, synopsis is is, is really really useful for determining whether or not. Uh, the story is something that you're actually going to want to read because it tells you what it's about and kind of what's happening and blah, 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 blah. As a writer, it just feels bad to write <laughs> the, the synopsis because, like, I have to I have to write, like, what the story's about. But I'm like, I want these plot points to be, you know, I'm, I'm carefully putting these into the story such that they surprise people as they come up be like, oh, God, really? You know, and, and if I just be like, yeah, so she's, uh, you know, she's this, then they're going to be like, oh, that's where it is. Yeah, okay, I see, yeah, yeah. It, do it doesn't have the same impact when you when you write it right into the synopsis and they've read it and they already understand what's going on. You know, it doesn't have the same level of, of uh, impact. Yeah. Uh, which, which for me, it, it just feels bad writing it, but then at the same time, like, I know that people aren't going to read it without a synopsis. I can't just say, go read the first chapter, because... If, if you don't have that initial hook, then they're not going to get to the first chapter even, you know? Like, you, you need that initial hook to, to bring them in, right? It's, oh, God, really, what a shot. What an incredible shot by the husk there. What an incredible shot. 
Um, so it just kind of just kind of sucks right in the synopsis is all. That's the moral of the story. But I have to. So I want to wait until we're a little bit farther into the story before I really write something concrete and I have a better idea of some less important plot points that I can add in as the as the synopsis, you know, things that that would get you hooked that you'd be like, "Ooh, that sounds interesting," but nothing that is going to spoil any kind of like major character development or anything like that either because that's important to me as the as the writer as the author of the the piece of of, of work, right? Anyway, it's on uh, it's on Railroad. There'll be a description in the uh, link below. There'll be a link in the description below or to the side or to uh, you know the in front, depending on you know what device you're on. I don't know. Maybe you have your own YouTube viewing thing. I have my own YouTube viewing thing. Do you have, do you have your own? YouTube? I'm probably special. Um, But uh, there'll be a link down in the description. Go check it out. Go check it out. I'm super pleased it's on there. It's my first, um, not published because it's not published, um, but it is my first fiction that uh, that isn't a fan fiction that is actually like out on the internet for people to read. I have fan fictions that are out on the internet to read. Um, I've actually revolutionized some parts of the fan fiction. I'm old enough to have been there when uh, when some specific subsets of fan fiction were taking off and I have definitely been at the forefront of that movement in, in some areas but I don't want to get into the specifics of it because of reasons. Um, but I, I, I've, I've uh, I've been writing for a long time. I love doing it. Love doing it. I don't have the time really to do like too much. I I, I, know I read some Royal Road content and <sighs> I see them writing like four or five chapters a week and I'm like, yeah, no, nah. <laughs> that's just not going to happen because uh, I also want, I like I also have all the YouTube stuff and I'm going to be adding in more very, very, very soon. Um, we've got, I've got the, uh, the Minecraft server that I'm going to be mostly running. Um, although I'm not going to have to handle any interpersonal relations kind of stuff. We've got a uh, separate person in charge of all that kind of stuff because I don't want to do that. Um, so I've, I've also got to like kind of run that. I'm writing the uh, I'm going to be writing a, rap, a wrapper for it in uh, in Python because I want to implement Discord and Minecraft server like cross communication. So that if you're in game, you can talk to people in the Discord, and if you're in Discord, you can talk to people who are in game, and uh, it all kind of ends up just being there for everybody to see, um, which kind of is a bad thing because it means that you know if you and let's say uh, we're gonna use the Hermitcraft server for for an example here, if you're Etho and You've got, you know, Grian, and you're the only two people online. You can talk about your, you know, your secret plans to infiltrate the the HEP or whatever, you know, and and like you know, they're probably also telling each other um, off camera that, that stuff's going on. But you know, you you can have your, your secret conversations, um, and at least have the illusion on camera of there being some kind of secrecy. Whereas if uh, uh, if, if, if it's just all public anyway, then, then it's like, you know, you know, <laughs> uh, so that, that kind of sucks, but whatever, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. And if people hate it, then I'll just remove it or I'll implement some way of hiding messages from discord or, you know, whatever. Um, or, you know, just, just go to discord and talk, you know, just like actually talk to each other and stuff. Like, I don't know. Um, it's like it's like a problem that's like so far in the future for for where we're at on this uh, this server. We have thought of a name. Um, I'm not sure we're 100% decided on the name yet, but what we're gonna be going for our, currently the working name is Serenity SMP, which uh, I actually came up with 
kind of. Um, Cacto said that he wanted something that was kind of like calming. And uh, they had like a couple of words. I'm like, I don't know, serenity? <laughs> Sounds, it's, it's like a fun word to say and kind of means calming, you know? And then everybody was like, yeah, sure, let's go with that. So, serenity is, is probably what it's going to be called. Um, which is cool. Probably have a website for it and stuff like that. Uh, all of that's going to be happening on the new channel, by the way. I've, I've uh, got it linked in the description of every video at this point. Uh, do go subscribe there if that kind of stuff interests you. will be having Minecraft, uh, some RuneScape content. Uh, Gunslinger, or Gunfire Reborn will be coming back over there probably. Possibly over here. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be putting that on this channel or the other channel. But probably the other channel. You be dead. Uh... But yeah, we got we got the uh, the Minecraft server stuff. We're gonna be calling ourselves Serenity SMP, which is cool. It's a nice name. What were you doing? What were you doing? It's a good name though, I think. Did I not kill you? Oh, I thought I killed him. I thought I killed him, dude. Uh, so yeah, Serenity SMP is going to be the name, which I, I think is a good name. We still have to go over some rules for the server still. Um, some of the members haven't been doing their uh, doing their part of, of voting on the rules that I've put forth. Uh, so we're, we're contested currently on actually a couple of rules. Uh, we are contested on TNT duping and carpet and rail duping. I say we should allow TNT duping and disallow carpet rail duping. Cacto says we should disallow TNT duping and allow carpet rail duping. Uh, we have currently five members on the server. Cacto and I are the only ones who voted on the rules yet at this point. So I'm going to see if we can get some other people voting on the rules as well. So that we can hopefully... Uh, have uh, have those rules solidified. I'm fine with whatever we want, personally. You know, obvi obviously I want the rules to go the way that I want them to. So on the contested um, decisions, you know, obviously I'm like, yeah, I hope we are allowed TNT duping, and I hope we're allowed not carpet rail duping, obviously. You know, th that's my stance. Um, but, you know, when, when, you're, when you're working on a, on a multiplayer thing like this, like, you gotta make some sacrifices in some places, and... Ultimately, it's not about those individual features. It's it's about the the multiplayer experience anyway, and the dynamics that kind of come from working with uh, with other content producers and and the growth that can kind of come accompanied with that as well, as uh, as you do collaborations and stuff. Uh, and it's just it's just more fun and better for everybody, right? So it's kind of like a, a good thing all around. But. Uh, yeah, we got to get some more people talking about that kind of stuff. I am going to be working on setting up the server very, very soon. We should have it live next week or the week after. I'm, I'm hoping for next week. Um, but, you know, and then we'll have, like, an episode one. Uh, everybody's episode one will probably go up on the same day, is my guess. And then... Uh, from that point on, it'll kind of be like, you know, upload your videos when you have the time. We don't have any, uh, it's not a recruitment video. Um, but we don't have any restrictions on content, really. Like, you don't have to make an episode a week or anything like that. Because I, I think that it's just, it sounds good on paper, right? Like, if you don't think beyond just that, like, if, if it's just an offhand thing, you know, you, you can easily think that it's, like, a good idea, right? But once you start thinking beyond the the immediate repercussions of that and on to the like you know exactly what's that what's going to actually happen with that right um yeah you end up with you know okay so say somebody like gets in a car accident and ends up having to, to miss a video upload or something or uh they get really busy one week because they're moving or their parents need help with something or you know they had a friend who ended up uh you know, having a bad breakup and needed a place to stay, and so they kind of lent them the their couch, and they didn't have time. So you know, like anything, anything can happen that ends up pushing back your your upload schedule. So 
We don't really have any restrictions on that. More so just to, like, you know, let us know what's going on. You know, just so that we're aware of it. If it's if it's reasonable to. Obviously, sometimes it's not reasonable to even do that, right? If you get into a car accident and you're in the hospital, you know, until you actually have access to Discord, it's not even, like, possible for you to tell us. And then, like, immediately after you get internet access, your first priority isn't going to be to tell, like... You know, your, your, your Minecraft server that you're in a car accident, right? Like, you're gonna contact maybe family or friends or work or, or something like that. Um, you know, like, whatever, right? But, uh, yeah, like, just just, just uh, let us know when, when, when it's happening and why. And, uh, you know, if you're inactive for, like, a month or two, we'll probably ask you, like, hey you know, what's up? And then you'll probably say, hey, yeah, sorry, I just, like, my mother got COVID, and we've had to be, like, self-quarantining, and I've had to be, like, taking care of her and stuff, and we're like, hey, that's cool, dude. You know? Or you'll be like, eh, I don't know, I just kind of lost interest in it, and then, I don't know, probably, I don't know, like, like, at the end of the day, everybody that we have on the server, we're pretty okay with having on the server, if you're just not interested. I mean, there's not reason, it's not reason to remove you from the server, you know what I mean? Like, if somebody loses interest in, in playing on the server, I think that they should still be allowed on the server. If they want to, right? Like, they were allowed there before, why, why, why all of a sudden just... Now they can't be there anymore, you know? Like, uh... If they want to come back, they can come back. And, you know, it's, 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 it, at a certain point, you know, people are getting... We'll, we'll probably have to remove some people from the server at some point, too, right? Like, eventually... We're not going to be adding people all of the time. Mostly friends or or uh, people we know or whatever. Um, other people that we do collaborations with frequently who aren't on the server or whatever. Like, you know, meet people and kind of, like, grow organically. Um, at a certain point, probably somebody's going to get on. And that person's probably going to end up, you know, like, eventually somebody's going to cause some drama and have to be removed. It's just It's just the way it goes when you have a community like this. Those people obviously aren't allowed to come. Right, it's not like you can't remove people, but like if, if nobody's doing that, then it's not really any reason to remove them, even if they're being inactive. You know? And on the other side, I think it's actually better for everybody if you don't, because when you have them back, then that's going to cause uh, excitement in, in communities and stuff like that to... You know, like, oh, did I just see, you know, so-and-so online in, uh, in such-and-such's video? And blah 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 blah, you know. Gets the uh, the create the, the the you know talking juices going, right? Free marketing <laughs> for the for the server, which is uh, which is good. So anyway, that's 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 what it is. You got the server coming, but I got the um I'm doing the uh, the talk the the writing stuff now, which is dope. It's dope. Go read it. It's in the description. I'll have it in the description in the next video as well. I'll talk about it. Because this video, it's the 8 p.m. video. It never does as well. It never does as well. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video. If you like, subscribe to see more in the future comments. If you have anything to say, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.